Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to take a uh, second to uh, show you guys the uh, Battle War minis I've been painting and um, sort of the process that I've been going through with these Flesh Rippers and see if it might help you guys out with any of your um, painting or maybe give you guys the courage to go ahead and try to paint some of your minis. Um, so I'm using several different kinds of paint here. I've got a little bit of the Citadel stuff, um, so I've got a pot of uh, black and a pot of just gray, and that stuff was too expensive for the most part, so I went on cool stuff and got these uh, Reaper Minis Master Series paints that were pretty cheap. Like, these are normally like $4 for the like Citadel stuff, and these are like maybe $2 a piece. So I've got black, gray, red, brown, kind of like a, a flesh color almost. It's tanned highlights, and then leather white, and then olive green, and this is pretty much all the colors I used to um, paint these little flesh ripper guys. So basically what I did was, first thing I did was I took the minis and uh, washed them down real good um, with warm water and maybe a little bit of soap to try to make sure if there's any oils from the, the casting of the minis. Um, clean all that off so that the paint will stick a little bit better. Um, and normally the minis start like this red color. Um, I'm pretty sure if you have the game, you know exactly how the unpainted ones look. But the first thing I did was I took my black and I just um, painted the whole mini like real well, made sure to get into all the little crevices and try to get every little bit of red um, off of it. So that way I could start with the nice black so it could be all the, the shadows and the, the deep parts that I don't actually hit with the brush as I'm going through with the rest of the minis. Um, some people use like spray primer and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, I just brush it down with the black, and I'll just run over. Um, and this is when you want to make sure, like, wet brush and get into all the little crevices, like around the eyes, and in the little little spots in the tail and everything like that. Trying to make sure you get it real good. Um, and then after I had that completely done, then I went over and dry brushed with brown. Um, mostly the whole thing. I didn't get, like, the inside of the mouth and stuff, so... If you can see, there's still some spots that are black, like the little bits in the arms and like the little bits on the rib cage here. There's little bumps and like the little parts in the tail all stay black, so that way you can have some nice shadows as you go along. But dry brushing basically is you get a little bit on your brush and you try to wipe off as much as possible. I can show you here on my nifty piece of cardboard I use. You basically try to get as much off as you can so that way it doesn't, it's not real wet, so that way it'll not go into like the little crevices and things like that. So I brushed, and the brown is not as important as like the other stuff, because you kind of want the brown to be a little bit deeper in there. And basically what we're going to be trying to do is go, we're starting real dark with black, and then we're going to brown, then we're going to go to like brownish red, and then we're going to go to a little bit more red, and then just straight up using red on these guys um, for the finished product. I'm trying to make them look very similar to the little guys, the Flesh Rippers on the uh, box. So, um, so yeah, you just dry brush some brown on there. And then what I did, I was using this, uh, it's just Shield Brown from Reaper Minis. And then I mixed a little bit of the, uh, the Lava Red is what this is called, or Magma Red. I just mixed I had a bunch of brown, and then I mixed a little bit of red in it to get this color, which was the next step. And it's just a little bit more red, so just slowly going up from black all the way up to a, a brighter red color. So layering is like the, and trying to highlight as you go. So you can still see there's a little bit of the brown around the edges and things like that. Um... But yeah, and then I added a little bit more red, and then it came out like this. So it's even brighter. Which is pretty cool. And um, I painted like the outside of the base and everything, so the whole base is black on these right now. Um, so when I did the black, I left all that black. And when I did the brown, I did like the under part of it. And I did the tail, 
But like when I started going up into red, I don't hit like the little spines on the back or the tail or anything like that um, or the bottom because we're going to try to do the bottom like white and we just leave the inside of the mouth black so that way it's all shadows. So it's red on the top parts here and then it's still brown um, on the tails and stuff like that. Um, then this one I just added straight red, like all it was was magma red, so it's a lot more highlighted. I don't know if we don't focus enough to be able to tell what's going on here. Does it want to? But yeah, it's a lot more highlighted. You can see it a little bit better. And then, then basically what I did with this is I added a little bit of this um, tanned leather, which is basically a very like flesh-like color, over the uh, the spines and the tail. And I also did like the little teeth on the bottom part. So the the bottom teeth I have like a, a whitish tan, and then like the top teeth I'm gonna try to leave black because that's kind of like what you see in the pictures here. So, and then I got the tan on the claws on the bottom here. I also started doing the basing on this one. So, with this one, the last one we had, I took some, some rocks like you would find for, like, fish aquariums. And I, like, glued one of the little fish aquarium rocks on the bottom. And then with these, I have a bunch of crushed up rocks. So I crushed up a bunch of the fish aquarium rocks, and I basically just um, have this, and I put some uh, like flock cement on the bottom of the base. So I super glued like the first big rocks on there because I like to have like the big rocks that you can see, and then I use the flock cement, but you can probably use super glue or whatever to um, get these little rocks on here to try to add texture to the base. This is what I do is I put it in like an empty one and then I dump the uh, stuff on it and kind of let it dry and um, try to maybe get a little bit more of the flock cement to help hold that down. Um, and then you can see it's real like sandy grainy looking on the bottom there. And this is not painted black or anything at all. But yeah, in the next step, I basically just painted all the stuff on the bottom. Uh, black, so all the sand and stuff for the base I painted black, and the uh, rock that I've super glued on there is painted black, and I went ahead and painted like a dark gray over the bigger rocks, so that way um, I can, that will be diff different, so I want the bottom to be green and like these other rocks to be like grayish, so I went ahead and put a regular gray on there, and I've also put that same gray like along the edge of the teeth to kind of be like the highlight for the black on the teeth there. Um, and then I went ahead and painted with the same tan as kind of like the tail and the teeth. I painted like the underbelly because if you see the bottom of these guys are all tan. So it's kind of hard to get in there with the brush, but I painted all that tan, which looks pretty good. Um, and then after all that dried, I went ahead and painted the basically the, the rocky sandy mess that I have. I painted that with the uh, the olive green. And so it has more like of a green look. And then the, the rocks I also like highlighted with adding a little bit of the white to the gray that I had. So um, that highlighted the rocks a little bit. So basically the main key is everything that you have you want to have like two colors on it. You want to have like paint it darker and then add a little bit of white to it or something and paint it a little bit lighter. So that way you have everything sort of highlighted so that everything doesn't look flat. Um, here I also added a little bit of the um, the leather white to the magma red and made it kind of like a pinkish color to put on like the edges of the mouth. I don't know if you can see very well. But like I painted the tongue inside there, and painted the edges of the mouth, and um, then the final step, I put a little bit of yellow in the eyes, and you have to be very careful 
when you do this, you just put a little bit of yellow on the brush and just basically just touch it there and it will paint the eyes yellow. And then I got like a put a little bit more white in that uh, pink that I had made and highlighted the uh, tongue and teeth. Um, and then I also got some of this Citadel grass stuff to um, add along the very bottom of the base. I put a little bit of super glue in little spots and then um, sprinkled a little bit of that grass on there and then blew it so it would stand up. And uh, doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I have several pictures of these on uh, Board Game Geek if you guys want to check that out. Um, and I'll try to get a picture of like the different steps all lined up. And if anybody has any questions about uh, what I've done or what I used or any of the paints or anything like that, feel free to ask. Um, I got most of these paints off of Cool Stuff, and it was a whole lot cheaper than just going to the uh, 40K or Warhammer store and just buying all the, the Citadel stuff. And so that's when I decided, oh, it would be actually fun to um, paint. You also want to have a thing so that you can mix the paints together. You can see that I've used a whole bunch of different random colors for uh, painting different model minis. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, if anybody has any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know. Feel free to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Also, uh, hit me up on any of my other uh, videos. Um, that'd be awesome. You can tweet at me on Twitter on at RoyCanaday, or just hit me up on BoardGameGeek, either way, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.